Let's go through more details by looking at design wind speed parameters. The first parameter we are going to look at is the location of our building. Our building is located in Sydney, which is considered as Region A. Every region in Australia has its own regional wind speed, which is based on peak cost wind data. So in um, Australian code or AS 1170.2, there is a map which shows different regions for different areas in, the, in this country. And if we look at Sydney, we can see our region is region A2. Now that we know our region, we can look at table 3.1. And if we know our return period for our wind, we can get this regional wind speed. To calculate this um, return period, we need to do some calculations, which I'm going to explain in more detail in the next few slides. But let's assume our return period is 1000 years, and we know our region is A, so our regional wind speed would be 46 meter per second. The second parameter we want to calculate is train category. Our building is located in suburban train area. In Australian code or AS 1170.2, there are six different train categories as shown in here. So train category one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and train category four. So if you go through the description for each train category, you can easily find your own train category. For example, if you look at one uh, train category one as an as, uh, example, uh, it says it's for very exposed open train with few or no obstructions and enclosed limited size water surfaces at serviceability and ultimate wind speeds in all wind regions, e.g. flat, treeless, poorly grassed plains, rivers, canals, and lakes, and enclosed bays uh, extending less than 10 kilometers in wind directions. So this train category wind, um, train category one, um, requires higher wind load, uh, load factor, and train category four uh, requires lowest wind load factors. So I read this description and I have decided that my train category is train category 3 because as per description it says train with numerous closely spaced obstructions having height generally from 3 to 10 meter, the minimum density of obstruction shall be at least equivalent of 10 house size obstructions per hectare e.g. suburban housing, light industrial uh, states, or uh, dense forest. So now that I know my train category, I can look at table 4.1. And based on different heights and different train categories, we can get another factor which is called MZ and CAT, which is height or train uh, multiplier to calculate our wind uh, design wind pressure. So, um, for example, um, if we look at our train category 3, and our height of the building would be 50 um, meter, so our factor would be 1.05. So as you can see, um, uh, the taller the building gets, the higher factor we have. Also, as I explained before, if we look at train category 1, we will have higher factor than we look at train category 4.